Is your sprinkler stopping waste leaking? Before you go and spend eight or $900 to get this replaced or spend an entire day digging to do it yourself, try this one thing. This could save you a lot of money or an entire day. You will notice this stop and waste here is full of water. If I stick this down all the way to the bottom where it's touching the valve and I stick my ear up on the key, you can hear it leaking. That's a good indicator to know that there is a leak still going on. However, I brought another valve just to show you what is going on here because there's actually nothing wrong with this stop and waste. So here's what's in the ground. These are generally are three, four feet down uh, deep into the ground. I don't know if you can see this very well or not. Right by my thumb, there's a little pinhole uh, drain. So when you close these valves, it is supposed to drain any water gravity fed out of this little pinhole. So if this stop and waste is not closed all the way, you're going to always constantly be getting a feed of water in the inlet side and it's just gonna constantly be draining out here. So the only issue with this stop and waste is that it is halfway open to halfway closed. So to fix that, you latch on, simply turn the valve all the way off and it stops leaking. Like I said earlier, a good way to know if it's done leaking Stick it all the way down to where you have metal on metal. You can hear or feel a little vibration on the stop and waste key. I hope this saves you a, whole, a lot of time and maybe even a lot of money.